So what we're doing is we're replacing the clutch on a DC-07. But what I want to do is I just want to show why we replace the clutch and we don't rebuild the clutch like a lot of internet sites tell you to do. If you zoom in here, you can see on this unit, there's a bunch of hair that's actually collected around the pulley area. Hair is in here. There's grit and grime that's all inside. And there's no way to actually make sure that the clutch plates in here are like new. The only parts that are available to rebuild this are aftermarket belts, which don't necessarily work great. So we find that it's best just to go ahead and replace the entire clutch with an original Dyson clutch. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this clutch. Now this belt up here, the, the main belt, is actually already broken off. You can see all back in here. And this here's our new Dyson clutch. And just to kind of give you a comparison. You can see condition of the pulleys and then also the belt. Here's the belt that goes to the motor versus on a new belt. You can see how stretched out that is. So we've got our clutch back installed. Um, I went ahead and cleaned out most of the grease that was up here in the tray. And um, what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to replace the intake hose. This is another piece that most people don't ever think about changing. If you're gonna go through the trouble of replacing the clutch and installing a new brush roll, it's only another eight to 10 bucks to replace this hose. And you can see what happens is over a period of time, it starts to take a shape and it, it loses its ability to keep this nozzle connected to the floor. And basically we just install it. Let's get it up on here. Line it up. And snap it in place. And you can see now what happens is it keeps that nozzle pushing up against the floor correctly. 